visit with Sandy, who has two dogs with aggression issues that are ruining her social life. It's been eight years since I've been on a date. I'm Cesar Milan. I'm going across the country. Please welcome Cesar Milan! With my son, Andre. To help people with their dogs. Calm down. And to meet some amazing dog heroes. Voila! And answer the call from the most desperate cases. You're our last hope. I am going to the Chicago suburbs to help with two dogs who are cramping their owner's social life. Sandy is an ex-workaholic who spends more time at home now with two pushy pets, Lola and Harley. I met Sandy at one of my seminars, but she has not been able to master her homework with these two. Ah. Oh, my God. Oh, my Thank God. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, it's great to see you again. You too. Let's get to work, then. Okay. I have a long-haired chihuahua named Harley, and I have a catahoula named Lola. They're loving, they're sweet, they're part of my soul. Ten years ago, I started a dining entertainment business. It was a 24-7 operation. And then it came to a point where I made a very, very difficult decision to leave the corporate world. This is a brand new chapter for me. I want to be able to have a life and a relationship. It's been eight years since I've been on a date. What's stopping me from dating right now is the dogs, they've stifled my ability to have people come to my house because of their behavior. Harley's gotten me quite a few times, gotten the dog walker a couple times. Lola, she's very aggressive, and she does his pretty ferocious bark. And so for that reason, I think I'm afraid of her. With Harley, we were on a walk years ago, and I heard this unbelievable scream. And I rushed him to the vet, and it turned out he had a slip disc in his back. I was so fearful that he would get hurt again that I never, ever took him on a walk. I don't think my dogs are living a satisfied life. I can't get him to walk at all. So what, if you bring him out, you think? Um, well, I think he's going to be anxious. He's going to ask the pooper to go yeah. away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. OK. Come on, Har. That's a demanding bark. It is? Yeah. Yeah. Can we go for a walk? Do you want to go for yeah. a walk with this guy? I'm starting with Harley, because he is the instigator. Our number one priority is getting him to take walks again to release some of his pent-up aggression. Harley, no. I, I, uh, that's all right, sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't trap him. No. Nope. Just block him. The way you put the leash on him. Oh, was it? Yeah, negative? it was more like a oh. trap. OK, all right, I'll take it yeah. off. Yeah, just close the gate. Just close the gate. OK. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, back. Hey, no, 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 no. Uh, no. The first step is putting on the leash. Sandy's energy is frantic. And by cornering and trapping Harley, she has actually trained him to go into a flight mode and to fear the leash. What we want to do right now is for him to go towards it, and then somehow this ends up on him. OK. Versus this going like, towards him. Yeah. I'm going to play his little game. This is almost like, um, like a feral dog. Oh, mm -hmm. OK. He definitely has become you. Uh, I see the same terror in his eyes as when you're like talking about him. Oh, me? Yeah. I have the same terror. Yeah, terrors. look, yeah. They have I to imitate somebody. We have gotten to the root of the problem. Harley is mirroring Sandy's anxiety. We have to get past that in order to get him on a walk. It's just to unlock the mind. No, no. He can't choose. That's a good boy. Getting the leash on Harley is just the beginning. The next step is getting him out of the house. Okay. 
Can you tell him to bring Gio? Once again, Harley is totally frozen. So I'm introducing my dog, Gio, to redirect Harley's focus. Good boy, Harley. This is the flight, this is the flight. Yeah. Five flight, though. This is where a lot of people stop. His eyes are bloodshot. Your eyes are bloodshot, too. Mine are, too? Yeah. You guys are going through the same thing. I am working with Sandy, a recently retired executive whose two unruly dogs are cramping her social life. After an old injury to her dog, Harley, Sandy has not walked him in years and needs to get Harley back under control. But Harley is panicking. He must work through years of built-up anxiety before he can enter into a calm state of mind and continue with the walk. When he gets in the zone of panic, this is where he needs our help. When a dog has all these layers, they don't know how to get to surrender state. I have to overcome Harley's resistance no matter how long it takes. Sandy has two misbehaving dogs that have kept her from having any dates over since she left her job. After digging in for a long standoff with Harley and even a bite, Sandy led him on his first walk in years. Now, I am focusing on her other dog, Lola, a seven-year-old Carajula leopard dog with her own aggression issues. Ask Mercer to bring me some dogs here. I wanna see how I react. In order for Sandy to regain control of her house, she has to set boundaries for her dogs. My dogs will make Lola excited, and Sandy have to set the rules. So you're gonna let her go all the way to the door, and you're gonna touch right there. Mm -hmm. So it's not to hurt, it's just to reset the mind. Okay. Right there, go, right there. Follow through, follow through, don't let her walk away. She can't choose where, where she's gonna rest. You tell her where she can sit. Off, 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 <laughs> off. Hey, go, go. Off, come on. There you go. I'm working with Sandy, who has been unable to control her two dogs at home. Come on. Right now, she's struggling to get her dog Lola off the couch. Off. Off. Hey. Leash, you can have a leash always here. At the same time. So when we're doing it. Yeah. Just, off. There you go. Sit. That's why the leash can avoid, prevent these sure. things. Yeah, so she can have the leash, and then when you say off, if she doesn't off, you just guide it with the leash. Yeah. So there's no negotiation. This is in the that first area. time I had the yeah. courage to try to remove her because I yeah. get nervous. Yeah. She's she has controlled you. All right, knock on the door. Same thing. Right there. Hey. Now grab the leash and bring it to the door. And you're gonna show her how to be in front of the door, in front of other dogs. Okay, all the way, all the way. Stay. Then relax. Surrender means willing to follow you. Okay. And then see this guy is picking up from that. Wow. Go ahead. Go ahead, Mercer. Now you can put her back in the couch. Come on. Come on, girl. There you go. Sit. Yeah. So it's not that we're not saying go on the couch, don't go on the couch. We're saying we're, we're going to tell you when. You know, inviting versus invading. It's important for Sandy to remain confident in order to regain control of these two dogs. Her fears had let them be in charge all these years. 
we need to reverse that. And the best way to start is on the leash. I'm feeling good. I got this. Come on. Come on, Marcia. Lola's barking and snapping is territorial behavior, and it will go away if Sandy continues to show her how to behave around guests and other dogs. But until then, it's going to be a battle of wills. Okay, mm -hmm. put your chihuahua on that side. On this side? Yeah. There you go. Then grab this one. Hey. Oh, boy. That's okay. 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 No tension on the hands. Slow it down. Relax. As we were walking down the street together, it was just peace. It was peaceful and joyful. That was my breakthrough. And then it was just layers of happiness. He's going to be in shape in no time. Now, remember, you can do an, a halty, so that way you can stop this little slight pulling. Stay. To gain more control over Lola, I am making a halty out of the slip lead by making a figure eight and looping it over her nose. Right Got it. There you go. See how the whole body is more next to you than in front? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's awesome. How's Harley feeling? Harley's feeling awesome. <laughs> He's got this. Drop, drop the leash on Harley. Drop it. Drop it? Yeah. Oh, OK. Look. Yeah, he's a natural. Yeah. Natural. He's in the zone. Yes. Now he's in a mission. His job is to follow. Yeah, I love that. When we dropped the leash, that was, wow, over the top, that he would just follow in the pack. I can feel the load lifted off of me, yeah. so I can imagine what that feels like for him. Everybody so. benefits. Yeah. Thank you. Mission accomplished. I appreciate it. Caesar's given me the confidence. I know the tools intellectually, but now I have the confidence. The past is gone, the guilt is gone, and I want to feel proud about overcoming that fear of having people in the house. I'm finally teaching my dogs what hospitality is all about. Look at Harley. Huh? <laughs> Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and join me on my mission of better humans, better planet.